In this video, I'm going to show how to disassemble this fairly generic keyless chuck. This is a 3 8 inch chuck, and it's probably made in Taiwan or China. They, a lot of them look this very similar, and so it was a little bit difficult to figure out how to disassemble it, especially how to remove it from the taper on the Cat 40 tool holder. So I'm going to show how I was able to take it apart. I've already disassembled everything and remove it from the taper. When I got this keyless chuck, it was not rotating. There was no way to, to spin it to, to open and close the jaws. It was just completely jammed. And it was this section right here that was jammed. It was not rotating. And now it's rotating very freely. So the first thing to do is to remove this sleeve here the front sleeve. So that unscrews that and when you take it off some of the jaws might fall out. I'm not certain if these jaws are matched to the positions. I didn't see any markings or anything. That might be a good thing to keep track of when you take it apart. You can pull the jaws out from the side. Like that. Then the next step is this inner piece, it unscrews also. So that comes apart. And then we have this piece that holds the jaws and pushes and pulls the, the individual jaws. This right here. And it only grabs on one side of the jaws there. This is screwed in and it's a reverse threaded screw. At this point, it was very difficult to continue the disassembly because this was not spinning and the chuck was not coming off of the taper. Now there are wedges that you can place in here from both sides that um, you can press in a vise or hammer to try to wedge the chuck off of the taper. This chuck has a through hole so you can see the end of the taper down there. So I was able to support this on top of some blocks like this and then use a shaft or punch through here to push the taper out. Now I tried this cold and it didn't work. So I had to take a heat gun and heat this up a lot right here, this, this piece in here. I just heated up for a long time at the max the heat gun would go. And then every once in a while I would try to tap it out with the, the rod and the hammer. And eventually it tapped out once it got hot enough. It tapped out just fine. Since the taper goes in here and it is right in this section where this is a tight fit, it's almost as if the taper was so tight in there that it was expanding the steel out a little bit and grabbing this um, because while it was on the taper, I was able to like hammer this down a little bit and then push it, push it back up when I was hammering. And so I was able to move this around, but it was really stiff. But then as soon, as soon as it broke free from the taper, then this was free to move around. And it's such a close fit in here. It's such that the taper was shoved in there so hard that it did expand this piece of steel just enough that it grabbed. Because it was really, I was really surprised that as soon as I removed it from the taper, this just came out, it was just free to move around. So before I reassemble this, I'm gonna make sure to clean this surface and the surface inside here really well to remove any oxidation that's in there. So the taper came out of the drill chuck and now the last remaining thing was to 
remove this this collar here is the last thing that retains the interior of the drill chuck so when you remove this there's going to be ball bearings in here that you have to be careful of now i'm going to show you the reassembly process so the ball bearings are all still in here so to apply some grease to that and there's looks like there's a gap here so there's a little space the ball bearings can float because there's no race in there so we're going to take this inner piece here and slide it through there. Make sure it rotates freely on the ball bearings. The collar comes on the back and there's a set screw it's flat there. Next step is you're going to take the screw that holds onto the jaws and it's a reverse thread. Thread it back in here. Then slide this piece over, kind of the, the jaw guide. And this is going to screw in also, normal thread. Then you need to line up that inner screw jaw holder with the jaw guides and then slide the jaws into the guide. Now I'll take the cover and put it over and screw that on. You can tighten that up a little bit with some strap wrenches. And now you should have a drill chuck that functions properly. So slide it back onto the taper and knock that in a little bit with a hammer to make sure it's well in there and you should be ready to go.